Alrighty, so uh, we have our new construction update for both Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland. Uh, the construction update pictures provided today are from Carowinds fans only. Go check them out on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks for letting me use your pictures. Um, they're super high quality, so thanks so much and absolutely love them. Um, so if anyone doesn't know, I'm combining the construction updates now just to so we're not making two separate videos for two separate projects. And it's a little fun to uh, kind of have a mini little race, I guess, on the construction project. They're very similar in timeline. So as you can see, it does look like a few more track pieces have arrived at Wonderland. Um, I also was able to film Sledgehammer doing its little, I guess, like boot up test cycle. So they spin each compartment separately, uh, one at a time, um, I guess, to check to make sure they're working. Then they'll raise and lower the arms um, to make sure they, they can do that. Then they bring it back down and they start spinning them all. Uh, the whole frame all on uh, the base, sorry, it spins, and then they'll put it up and do the same thing up there. And then I guess that's how they test it and get it ready for operation. So that was cool to watch. You'll see that throughout the video, kind of them getting that set up and ready for Halloween Haunt tonight. Um, in terms of construction, though, uh, the exciting news is half of the drop is up. So as you can see here, um, the drop is on its way up and uh, I'm hearing that maybe they'll even be done the lift drop and top portion by next week. I, I, that's what I'm guessing. By next Friday, they may have it all topped off, which would be super awesome. I mean, Carowinds is off to an amazing uh, start too. From these pictures, you can see they've got the brake run in, they got the station done, the station track, obviously. They got the JoJo roll, they have the turn out of the JoJo roll into the launch or that little pre-show building. And then they have the launch done all the way up to the vertical loop. And the supports are half done for the vertical loop, as you can see right here. So both projects are off to a very quick start. From what I'm hearing, though, um, Carowinds may also not be in a delay because nothing's gone wrong. Um, but we may not see too much action over the next couple days or anything because uh, the parts for the vertical loop, the actual track pieces for it, are not on site yet. Um, that's what I'm hearing. Again, I have no idea. I'm not from Carowinds or uh, South Carolina or North Carolina, so I have no idea if that's actually true. I can't go check the storage shop, but that's what I'm hearing, that the parts for the vertical loop are not on site quite yet. Um, whereas Yukon Striker is now out of its delay and in full force, and again, they hope from what I'm hearing and seeing to have this topped off by next Friday. So that would be awesome too. As you can see that little uh, V-frame looks like an A-frame, but it's a V-frame uh, support on the drop and they'll get the rest of it put up next week. Um, they got the pieces already ready and assembled again, catwalks and all um, right there. They'll probably bring in the turn pieces for the top of the lift hill on Monday and they'll get that all set up and ready to go. So both projects are off to a very quick, very quick start. Again, Yukon Striker had its tunnel and track pieces installed very early in the season. And uh, Copperhead Strike is just uh, just taking off as of this week with an impressive start. So it is very tough to call which coaster will be done before the other because both coasters are still pouring footings for the actual coaster. So both coasters are still pouring footings. Wonderland is digging theirs. Carolyn's is digging theirs. They're pouring them. Um, in fact, if you look closely in this video, uh, when I pan over to the left, you'll be able to see the amount of construction going on over there. And I'll be in the park tomorrow um, with my team, grabbing some footage um, and zooming in on some things, getting you some really awesome shots and all that. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll actually have some exciting news to announce to you guys shortly. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully some exciting news to announce to you guys shortly. I'll know very shortly uh, what's going on with that, and then I'll provide an update on uh, this exciting news. Um, but yes, uh, so not much else to discuss. Most of you already know what's going on at Carowinds because of the, the live cam. Wonderland doesn't have a live cam, so most of the updates actually come from me. <laughs> but um, yeah, as you can see, Yukon Striker is looking really good. They're in the 90-degree portion of the drop. And it looks phenomenal. You can actually see that 90 degree drop, the little bit of it, the from the uh, V-frame up to the tip there, from the parking lot, and from Jane Street. You can see it from all the way over there. So it is visible uh, now in the skyline, and as of next week, it'll be even more visible. I also want to take some time to apologize for my nasally voice. For those of you that know me, I am sick. Um, so I'm so sorry if the sound sounds really ugh because of my... Uh, 
nasally voice. Um, but I just love the fall colors on Wonderland uh, in the left there. I absolutely love it. I, it's just so gorgeous. And the crane actually blends in with the fall colors, which is funny. And so does the colors of uh, Yukon Striker. So it's just it's a, it's a really beautiful shot. Um, but as you can see, they're digging footings over there in the uh, the Timberwolf area. So awesome shots. Um, I believe in a second, I'm actually going to start. I included some of the cinematic footage I'm going to be putting in the documentary. Yeah, I think this is my cinematic shots that I'm uh, getting right now. I can't tell. There is some cinematic shots in here where I just slowly pan and grab some really awesome shots. This is it. I'm going to end up talking here because there's nothing else to talk about, but I'll be in the park tomorrow to uh, see if I missed anything up close and personal, and you'll have an update tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Hope you guys enjoy this Carowinds vs. Canada's Wonderland construction updates, and stay tuned for more. Have a good one, guys. Bye.